GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Experience the next level of imaging with Vivo X100 series. Pre-book now. Hi Siddharth, welcome to Galata Plus. Thank you, Vardwaj. So I want to ask you two commercial questions before we actually start talking about Fighter. And these commercial questions are also based on Fighter. One is when the film opened Thursday and the numbers came, there were all kind of commentary going on that, you know, this looks like too slick for the mass sectors, you know, that's why it didn't take off as well as they thought it would, something. What do you think, like, happened, I mean, on the opening, uh, you know, like, is there an explanation? I think it's too early to actually uh, dissect what happened on that day. Eventually, we did fair numbers. Um, the thing is that our expectations have, as as makers, uh, have become a little, I feel, unrealistic. Right. I'm talking about myself also, having delivered uh, Pathan just one year ago. We need to, A, keep our expectations in check and align it with the product. Secondly, it is a working day. Thursday is considered midweek. Yeah. It's Thursday is a working day. For instance, we held a special preview, mm -hmm. not a preview, a screening for family and friends on Thursday, on the day of the release. And uh, whoever, uh, you know, uh, in my family or friends, we texted and asked, uh, at least 40% of them said, yeah, it's a working day, is there a show in the evening? So <laughs> at that time it hit us right. that, oh, how will people actually then bunk work or bunk school and come, you expect them to come in droves uh, right. in, the, in the morning? I, I think that's about keeping expectations in check, A, for a wor working day and B, for the genre. Fighter is, um, Pardwaj, is a, a leap, is a huge leap as, uh, as filmmakers mm -hmm. uh, to do in this country, the kind of film and genre it is. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a space that is unexplored. And it's absolutely new. It has no reference point for the audience. So what they are seeing is a little, yaar, achha, such big stars, uh, a, a commercial director, but ye planes kya kar rahe hain? So I'm like, oh, is it my film? I don't know this. Um, if you realize there is a huge percentage of, of our country, I would say 90% who've not flown in planes, mm. who've not been to an airport. So how do you expect them to know what's happening in the air is my uh, dissection. So they felt that this is a little alien. Oh. Um, how many percentages of people, I mean, it's just a variation, it's an academic discussion. Percentage of our population has a passport. Right. And how many of them have actually travelled in a plane? So you're talking about planes actions. They've not understood what is the exhilaration they're supposed to feel in the action. What is supposed to happen? So... There is a certain disconnect, in, initial disconnect that I don't know what this is. So they have said, let me wait and watch. So they have felt a little disconnected, I felt. But once you see the film, once you enter the auditorium, you realize it's such a basic film. It is an emotional kahani. It is a, a very desi story. And it appeals actually to, to the lowest common denominator as a story. The genre of it is something which is very, very new. Right. And I think that was the initial hesitance. But once you come in, I've not heard anybody who say, Ki yaar, ye picture kharaab hai, yaar, ye kya kiya. It has been ranging from theek hai to outstanding. Right. That is the range that... And I'm very, very critical of my own films, uh, Bhardwaj. I'm, I'm too much of a realist. Um, so I'm not someone who's, who just tries to believe uh, in a false narrative of my own film. Right. Uh, that has been really the secret or rather the, the ingredient of my growth as a filmmaker and the fact that I have, I have uh, survived, I would say, right. uh, for the last 20 years making films. A lot of my uh, contemporaries have somewhere lost ground or trying to still find this thing. But I have managed, I would say, by God's grace, very lucky, very blessed. But also the fact that I'm extremely critical of my work. And I recognize where something has not worked. Whether I've recognized what didn't work, even in a war or a Pathan. What is, some, okay, it's worked. What is it that I could have done better? Right. I recognize that. Right. Bang, bang. What went wrong? Why did it not do the numbers? Why was it uh, uh, an average hit? Uh, why wasn't it a blockbuster? I analyze it. Why did war not do 500? Why did uh, Pathan not do uh, um, even more numbers? Right. So tell me one thing in war that, like on post-analysis, you felt I could have done this better. 
I felt war uh, could have done with a little bit more uh, entertainment in the form of humor. Okay. It was a very slick, relentless thriller. It needed a little bit more humor. Okay. Uh, and that would have carried it a more long, a lo but, a but longer. But Pathan fighter, all these films are a little low on humor. No, I mean no. And Pathan no had had a sense of uh, entertainment to the banter between Ruba and Pathan. Okay, right. The entertainment okay. in the in the uh, Russia chapter. It was light-hearted. Then I brought in entertainment and humor between Shah Rukh and Salman. Yeah. In their conversations, right, right, right. I otherwise anybody bringing Shah Rukh and Salman together, you would make it like a serious action thing. Right, I was right. very clear. I wanted comedy in that. Of course, what they're doing is serious. I wanted laughter. That right. was my downright requirement. I said, right. that's how it's going to happen. If they're not going to take them too seriously. Right. They're going to have fun. So I apply all that. I'm the guy who's, that's, that's how I will grow. Right, right. So when you say that the audience, when they see people in planes, they're not connecting. I'm just trying to understand that. Is it because, see, when people are fighting on the ground, there is, you can see them punch. You can see them, like they're used to gen, like years and years and years of people punching each other, people firing guns at each other, people doing these acrobatic, athletic moves. Whereas when people when people are sitting in planes, that is a little alien to them. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, uh, give you, to give you an example, uh, Top Gun Maverick being the only reference point for us for an aerial action film, did $1.4 billion worldwide. Right. It's a flop in India. It's a flop. In India, right. it hasn't worked in India, and it's done 1.4 billion. It's amongst the top four or five films ever. That gives you an analogy of and and Maverick being an outstanding film, right? An outstanding film. People like us, you and me, we've seen, we've seen it, and of course we appreciate it. But uh, it's not penetrated in India, whether it's you know watching it online on on a platform or in theaters. So it's a genre that I feel is still evolving, and uh, I'm someone who who just wants to constantly uh, do something which is different and uh, the easiest thing for me would have been or is to make a sequel of sequel of any of my uh, uh, action franchises that I've created right from Bang Bang. I mean Bang Bang, Bang War Pathan, they're all created by me. I could have easily and can easily take up anything and make a sequel to that to be safe. But I want to constantly push myself to do something which challenges me as, as, as a filmmaker. The second commercial question, why didn't you position Fighter as a pan-India movie? Uh, you mean in languages? Yeah, I mean, you could have just dubbed it in four or five other languages and release it as a pan-India movie. It's a conscious decision by me not to not to dub it and people should watch it in Hindi. Okay. Um, because I've realized that, uh, that there, 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 is, there is an audience. Like for example, the numbers of Pathan in Hindi versus uh, Pathan in the local languages is huge. The language People in the South have watched it in Hindi a lot more than they've watched it in their native language. That was a learning curve for me. Uh, war, for that example, similarly with War, uh, Rithik actually is a massive star in the South. Uh, but they still prefer to watch it in its Hindi version, in its original language, rather than watching it oh, in so the native language. that's what the numbers said? Okay. That numbers reflected something to me and I said they're anyway coming in with Hindi and uh, I felt that, uh, and I gave them subtitles in English. Right. In the South. So they had the option of watching it with subtitles on. And I wanted the consumption only in one language. Right, right, right. When did you begin thinking about Fighter and this name, Ramon Chib, that's a relatively new name to us. Yeah, yeah. So how did he come on board and what did he contribute to Fighter? The thing is that I, I've been wanting to do an Air Force film for a long time. Uh, maybe 10 years, I've been thinking about it. Having no background of uh, the defense. And I knew that what I wanted to do was a very authentic film. And I didn't want to go wrong with its portrayal. I just didn't know the whereabouts, how do I go about this. So the thing is that even if I wanted to do a, a briefing room scene, wherein, uh, uh, like in our film, where uh, Rocky uh, briefs uh, Air Dragons for the first time. I didn't know how to, wh wh what would he say <laughs> to his uh, uh, to his unit. So the thought was, should I bring in uh, an Air Force person for guidance? But then how would I tell him, uh, how, would I, how would he tell me what the scene should comprise of as a writer? We, I, I was, on, I was uh, like uh, scattered, right. that how do we do this? I think universe conspired and suddenly, a script fell into my lap written by Raman and said that uh, there's an Air Force film that I want to make. Would you want to partner with me? And I was like, wow. But I said, as I, I heard about his background, it's from the defense. I was like, yeah, ye kya likhega, but chal, let's read it. And when I read it, I realized that he's got exactly what I need in terms of the insight. 
but yes obviously the writing is amateurish because he's never written a film and he wanted to make film make a film in the air force but didn't have the commercial you know uh, right, right. Uh, wherewithal of what has to be done yeah. and how to craft it so it just became a perfect marriage so i said that i want your authenticity and let me bring in the narrative of what the we dr- should drama, do the drama the dramatic uh, the drama yeah. and the story hmm. so then we became partners in that and it's taken years to actually craft this film so uh, how many years uh, 2016 is when we got together <laughs> that's like 7 years yeah 7 years yeah. to to make this and i think what what we what we agreed on is uh, we had to keep it extremely authentic okay. and and raman has been a, a fabulous collaborator uh, on this and uh, in fact i insisted that he write the screenplay because i saw sparks of a writer in him and i said you will write it i'll be there to guide you in terms of where all we need to go but i want you to write it because i want it as authentic as possible right. so there was extreme detailing uh that went into it in terms of ranks in terms of uh, what what medals each character has won everything it just we just did a full detailed in depth analysis and research are indian each character right right now tell me one thing though uh when you see a movie like top gun right uh there is no mention of which nation or where they're going to attack whereas in our movies i'm not talking about fighter in general but in our movies it's always an india pakistan thing uh why do you think that's that's the case we need a face okay as an audience we need a face a uh, and b i also was was quite certain that i didn't want to make a such a fictitious film on uh the air force in a genre that is anyway a little alien to us so i wanted to ground it and um pulwama was an incident that really moved me and angered me and uh, it was a, it was a movie waiting to happen Right. on what what they did but obviously i had to fictionalize a lot of things around it um and we rooted it in a, on a real incident and obviously then we had to name name the the the, the organization uh that did it so right. we've named the organization nothing else right well and and you do have a line that says uh ye mulk ke bare mein nahi hai it's about the the yeah, people absolutely. certain people in the who yeah, are yeah, giving yeah. the yeah. the place a yeah. bad name kind of thing yeah. but tell me this other thing in in a gadar right when a gather that that the pitch of that movie is is here right so when these incendiary dialogues this this you know uh, this jai hind stretch for instance when yeah, yeah. the hrithik is beating up the villain yeah. and going on about jai hind this ka matlab hota hai jai hind us wo hai jo right, you know all right. that kind of stuff right. now in a gather right. they would fit perfectly because the entire movie is in that meter right? right because it's like from the acting to the to the script to everything it's it's pitched that that right. high Right. And I and and I mean this in a that's the movie, meter of the movie. That's right. obviously, Fighter is a very slick and sophisticated yeah. uh, movie, which is like very grounded. Uh, mm. Like ironically, for a movie called Fighter, <laughs> it's grounded. <laughs> it's, it's very meaning that's... like people even in the romance, it's very underplayed. Yeah, yeah. The, the the it's very subtle. It's very it's very real. the the real most of it is kind of just enough drama to kind of make it like not happening next door. But you know, it's a movie movie believable. Believable. but then suddenly you get the stretch where there's this rithik going hyper dialogues hyper dialogues yeah. that one stretch seemed really like out there for me <laughs> just just tell me what went in your head interesting when, question when you yeah. uh, you know decided to do that so th- 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 there are two factors to it uh, one is um, you know i am fiercely patriotic right me you know not really nationalistic maybe but fiercely patriotic uh and that has reflected in whether in in its own way in war or pathan or rithik walking against the flag in in war or the jai hind of uh, mm-hmm. uh, pathan's character there's a certain certain streak of patriotism in me i mean it's i've grown up watching hakikat and you know those kind of films that really give me uh, goosebumps and and uh, the the music of those films yeah. um i cry when i hear the songs of border um, and i really do I, and i'm i am that i don't know maybe i was a soldier in my past life I don't know what it is. That is there in me. The huge patriotic streak in me, and those lines of when he says "Jai Hind," they are actually me. They are actually me, and I wouldn't lie. The genesis is that man. I want to say these things because I feel it um, in my own way. Um, and the other thing is uh, having been brought up on a staple of Hindi films of the seventies and eighties, um, dialogue bazi is what I love, and. very rare rarely do i get an opportunity in my films to do that to right. do some front footed dialogues and uh, i've gone all out in fighter and done it and wo kehte na ek 
bhadas of a film no but i'm saying that bhadas is only in that one big section yeah. like the rest of the movie is not no yaar it's uh, layered with great dialogues everywhere it's no, just no, that the, the fury of that section is what i'm talking about the pitch of that section the rest of it has those dialogues i'm not denying that at all but he had had uh, patty met azhar earlier in the film right. he would done the same thing he would done the same thing he met him only in the end of the film this is the only time patty meets azhar the villain right. and he tells him that he wants to tell him that what he, what they are doing to this country right. and what our country is capable of and what this means to us right. he would have told him in the first scene or the day he met him after polo i would told him so the screenplay such that happens in the end unfortunately you don't have a hero villain face off throughout the film right. and whenever actually it is there with red nose he gives it off to him right actually that makes sense so yeah. the, the 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 because it happens only at that one particular point exactly the the movie kind of you know that that that's what happened if it happened consistently we met him he would do that yeah. he would have that face off right. and there are dialogues between red nose and uh, uh, um uh, patty also That uh, आप हमारे हाँ, हमारे देश में घुसे हैं जनाब एंड एस पैटी से पुलवामा भी हिंदुस्तान में है जहाँ तुम घुसे थे जनाब ही इज गिविंग इट ऑफ नो आई थिंक दोज रजिस्टर लेस बिकॉज दोज फील मोर लाइक टॉन्टिंग यू नो वेन दे आर वेन दे आर लाइक फाइटिंग दे आर फाइटिंग विद वर्ड ऑल्सो राइट लाइक नो इट्स इट्स लाइक फाइटिंग विद प्लेन एंड विद वर्ड विद वर्ड सो दैट दैट डट डा लेकिन यहाँ पे इट जस्ट मीन्स लाइक लाइक सो नो बट यू कैंड ऑफ एक्सप्लेन दैट यू नो बिकॉज इट्स his entire fury is about is landed up is in the end it's the bottled end. up for so long it comes out it comes in the, out end. At the end and right. he's a soldier eventually and why is the why is he fighting why is he why is he fighting with the country it's not that they get their their paycheck is so huge that they're doing it for the lifestyle right. it's because they feel for their country and what happens is that i've realized that being associated with the forces in terms of for so long in terms of working so closely with them i realize the brotherhood that they have for each other so mm. if you If you kill someone from the army, the air force feels his real brothers died, and here too they actually killed Bashir, who's right. his, who's like his brother. Right, right. right. So there's a flurry of uh, uh, emotion right. that will come out, and that that time he can't control what he's saying, and this is something that he really feels for his brothers. Right, and I really like the fact that you know that this whole film, despite the fact that Hrithik and Deepika are up front and center, like because they are the leads. it comes across like a team movie hmm. you know because you've cast the and written the bashir and all the other characters also yeah, yeah. uh very well so yeah. they register like a like a team a like unit. like a like a unit you know so it's not like random people who die or like you know yeah. you know that kind of you really like kind of that that casting was also done well and the writing mm. of those, those 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 things were also done well now you've mentioned that rithik is a person who thinks like a director and he's got a 360 degree perspective on a movie and not just like Absolutely. his scenes alone uh what did he contribute to this film in terms of apart from his acting that is we'll come to his acting later but as a person invested in this movie as as a performer and as somebody who's taking this movie to the audience what was his contribution to the movie hugely i can't i can't like can really, you name one thing for example i can't undermine it i think i have lot of instances where he has uh contributed um uh, i'll tell you i'll give you examples what he does is let's say i'll come to fighter let's say war he is a huge contributor in elevating tiger's character as khalid his constant effort whenever he would, he would talk to me would be only about khalid and it is that shows that's when i said that he's got a 360 uh, degree purview on on a film right that he's not like a horse and lonely looking at his uh, with blinkers looking at his role and his character fighter again See, Rithik and me are uh, collaborators. I don't look at him as an actor. Right. I look at him as a genuine collaborator on my film. He is like Raman on Fighter, and he, Raman, me, and him work together for months on on the film. So, instances, he's not an actor who I write a script and give it to. He's not that person. He's a collaborator. Like he will, he will, he will, he will have so many notes and thoughts on everything else. so yes strengthening everybody else is also a lot of his effort and uh, his purview that this is what needs to be done um him uh, wanting to develop an equation with sanchi in the film is also him mm-hmm. is also him the fact that um i think that 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 itself the minute you say that him and sanchi need to have a bond then you need to pre establish their history then you need to have karan and him uh that is taj's character and him also knowing each other since years yeah so that bond so then they meet and they hugged and he says kitna time ho gaya he says 2 saal 
So all those things come from a discussion with Ritik. Right. So he brings in all these things. Uh, so they are not just uh, 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 random uh, aviators from the country who've come together and formed a unit. Right. Between all of them, Patty, Sachi, and Taj knew each other. Yeah. So these things are come about in discussions with Ritik. Uh, so uh, elevating the villain, doing all that. He's he's right, like a because, collaborator. Right. Because the thing is, had he not known Sachi uh, individually, yeah. then she would have just been friend's wife. Yeah, friend's wife. And like, but now that he knows her, like for so long, he's personally invested in yeah, bringing Taj back. Taj back because he's he's like he's the guilt is even more. Even more to bring yeah, Taj back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so those yeah. things. That's why I say he he's a director. Yeah. <laughs> he's a, he thinks like a director right. and not like an actor. He becomes an actor only on set. Right. Before he comes on set, he's a director. So he's a great collaborator to have. And the thing is that. As a director, my advice is to other directors is don't resist his engagement. Don't look at it as a threat. He's only coming in to improve your vision. Right. You as a director have a very powerful right and that right is the right to veto. Right. You have that right. So don't be afraid to hear all suggestions, whether it's Ritik or it is your sound recordist. Yeah, yeah. They all can come up with suggestions. And that is something that just hear it and Hrithik especially because he's coming with no other motive. He's never going to go on camera, don't worry and say that this is my input. Hai. Yeah. Don't be insecure. Right. And even if he does, filmmaking is a team effort. It's not like playing tennis. Even in tennis, you have an entire team working yeah, behind yeah, you. Yeah. But you're out there taking the shots. Yeah, yeah. Here is an entire team. It's like going to war. Right. You have a unit of 300 people. Everybody is contributing to you. Right. So it's not one director who makes a film. So stop believing that that this is your credit. Right. Everybody's contributed and given their best so that your film succeeds. Right. Earlier I told you that this film is is like grounded and subtle, right? So like one of my favorite scenes of Hrithik in the movie is when he is going away from the yeah. uh, from the unit. The, the unit, like 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 when he's packing his stuff, yeah. and he has a scene with Deepika. The the thing is, there's this extraordinary line which which is like. You know, I just love that flavor of line, which is like, she says, why don't you go and fight against the people that have put the charge on you? Why don't you fight for your fight, rights? Fight for your rights. It's like, he is, the line that he says is extraordinary. He says, fighter ho. It's a very simple line. Fighter ho, jang karta hu, jhagde nahi. Yeah, wow. It's like, wow. It's like, I, I just, yeah. like, I had goose flesh when I heard that yeah. line because it's such a, telling it's also, no, it's also so economical, right? There's, there's not, it's not a huge line. It's like a, you get a sense of this man's character through just those those the few words, the brevity. It's like, this is me, dude. Hmm. I'm like a fighter. I fight big wars. wars. I'm not going to go and fucking fight a, like one small, small thing like small, this, right? It's like, yeah. that, that's coming in such a beautiful yeah. poetic shape. Yeah. But he says it while he's doing other stuff. Yeah. He's not like, yeah. fighter home. Yeah. Like, you know, that, that, <laughs> while packing, folding is... Folding is tough. Yeah. So he, yeah. the casually. line is coming out casually. Nonchalant. And uh, nonchalant. And it's not coming out like, Listen, I'm going to give you this big line, wait for it. Yeah. Then, like a volcano, yeah. he gives that yeah. line. That's yeah. not happening. Yeah. Was it him or you? See, the thing is that the, the entire treatment of this film has been like that. Where uh, I've, I've refrained from using, you know, my traditional style of filmmaking, which is those track and trolleys of dialogues and drama. I have kept it very candid. Right. And I've kept it uh, like a... I've tried to treat the film like a fly on the wall. Right. And the camera has a fly on the wall. There's a lot of handheld yeah. camera work. That's and which is a little rare for a film of this scale. That's deliberate. Right. So I have changed my style of filmmaking. Uh, whether it was War and Pathan, I in War and Pathan, I ha always had uh, 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 something called a C motion in my hand, which was a, a short zoom. Okay. So whether it was a steady cam operator, a handheld, or a track trolley. I was constantly through the monitor zooming in and out of the frame as I wanted it. So I kept it uh, very uh, uh, restless. Mm. Here, I brought in a lot of sthirta in my making of this film. And I was clear I wanted the camera to be a fly on the wall. That candidly, you're watching the life of fighters. Mm. So you're not really staging anything. Everything was very real and handheld. Right. And uh, my cam cameraman, Sachit, who was my collaborator even on Pathan, also is a great handheld operator. <laughs> so it is a great marriage in terms of that. He captures it. And also there are a lot of things that go into handheld cameras. The focus can be very dicey because you're constantly moving in and out. Uh, so you need to maintain that. Um, and for the actors also, the camera's right here. Right. So it's very intimidating. Otherwise the track and trolley with the long lens is far away. Right. 
you know the cameras in your face and you're talking to this person the cameras right here with a cameraman right over here right so it's a very unnerving for an artist also but right. slowly they got used to the style of filmmaking and i tried to keep it very uh, uh, in your face right that i didn't want you to i didn't want the narrative to get lost so everything was like you recognize is is more handheld and up close yeah right. and not the track and trolley kind of and drama and that reflected in the way the dialogues also were delivered yeah so then what even that scene was shot much later uh, due in in the film so we had got used to the narrative of and the structure and style of filmmaking right and uh, that scene is a little casual it's written where he is just folding his clothes the thing is that he is also f- he's fallen in love with this girl yeah and he also knows internally patty is very complex that way yeah he knows that he believes that the people i get close to they get hurt yeah so i don't want to a show my feelings to her and i need to go away from her right and that's better for her that i that i go away that's why she says that to meri khushi ke liye tumne mujhe rulane ka faisla liya yeah yeah so the, these lines are very telling in terms of that so his 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 state of mind is that i don't want to show i'm affected and i need to get out of here and um i'm i'm not going to take these small battles i i choose my battles and i fight the larger battles and right so it's it's that state of mind of this guy right can you talk about one like shot or or something that i'm sure there are many many that you can name but one particular thing where you had this idea that hrithik would do it this way but then he did it that way and that really took you by surprise mm he always surprises me man <laughs> uh Patty is a a character that is very unlike Rithik. Rithik is as an actor when he chooses these kind of films they're always very larger than life. Patty like we've been discussing is very real character. So for him to do these lines and do it without the additional drama right is breaking Rithik the actor down. And it's something that I was a little concerned with obviously in the beginning how he'll take to it but rithik being such a fantabulous artist he recognized that he needs to play this very different from kabir or rajveer or any of his other characters that he plays that are really larger than life right so he knew that he had to break patty down to be the sort of boy next door and he's a younger character uh, yes he's brazen but he has to be very real right he doesn't do anything that is so larger than life throughout the film so he surprised me by bringing in commercialism even in the realism right are you understand what i'm trying to say somewhere sometimes you're so real that is a little dull yeah but he engages you even in his realism right and how he played patty every day you should surprise me because he 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 is all about character he's all about character he's not about lines right he's about character so even the simplest lines he will make them feel special right because the way he does it and that's the a maker will understand it ki yaar meri line to simple thi look what he elevated it mm. yeah for me the other thing that that i really like what he did which is exactly what you said was there's a bit of show but not enough show was when he's reciting by the campfire he's reciting that patriotic poem and for a second he's almost lost in that thought on in that emotion and it's only when he hears the noise of his friends that he he's like out of it. i'll snap out, snap out of it right that's like but if you if you see that scene again see the beginning and end it's very different right. of the lines when he starts it it's a throwaway line yeah 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 and then he gets deeper and deeper and then he gets sucked into it and then just gets lost into lost into it right. you have to see that shot the way he's done that it's a master class right the way because he says duniya mein mil jayenge aashiq kai and then he gets into it the second time duniya mein mil jayenge aashiq kai and slowly gets sucked into it till in the end he's lost right and he breaks out of it when when people start applauding it so that is the genius of rithik roshan right. what he does right you've met war pathan and now fighter what are the ingredients of a desi action movie according to you ingredients yeah you need stars desi action not really okay i think what you need is a hero and a villain a, a hero and a villain very clear cut hero right. and a very clear right. cut villain you need once you have these two and if you've created a great conflict and uh, 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 an emotional conflict then you are you are sure that you will get some sort of an audience to come and watch it now from there how your action plays out the splendor of it uh, another commercial elements and everything uh, is is will determine the 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 big success of it 
but the basic thing is you need a hero and a villain i don't mean hero you need a star you need a hero oh. and the qualities that a hero embodies you need that and you need a villain that is really strong and overpowering and solid and you feel that he will make a great great antagonist to your protagonist right once you have that that is the must for a desi action film so i'm going to push this a little further because see this is the formula in action films all over right there's always an enemy uh, whether that enemy is a a faceless country kind of a thing or whether that enemy is one person yeah the hero villain concept is in dramatic action films everywhere around the world yeah so what makes the desi action film a little different from that when because you can't just make a top gun here right or or rather you can't make any war movie that's there out here that's what i'm saying that's what's different so right. oh, there you can make a war film with a without a with a faceless enemy but right. you need a definitive villain over here right audience needs to hate somebody okay audience needs to root for the villain right. and exhilarate when the hero beats up the villain right that's what i'm trying to say okay. that you need a definitive villain a face for a villain right and you don't and don't make him caricaturish right that's important right you don't make him something that is a uh, a little unbelievable or just ground him and make him very really real right. whether it is jim who's as flamboyant and uh, this thing or there is a gabbar singh right or even a mogambo for that purpose but there is a certain flair in him and certain hatred for him right so um, that that's a basic thing for a desi actor do, do you think that mogambo khushwa kind of rubbing your palms in that that kind of pitch will work today um we haven't tried it yeah i don't know but because um, i haven't seen it in a long time but that's genius of shekhar kapoor yeah yeah but do you think that that kind of just to break it down tell you how how people have people changes what i'm trying to say so i'll tell you i i equate i personally do it's not my opinion in the sense that it's not it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's my feeling when i look at shakal mm. and when i look at mogambo right. they overlap but mogambo worked <laughs> strangely yeah. are you getting me so a, a, you never know you never know years later mogambo worked and shakal didn't so i don't know i mean it's it's the it's the flair or the uh, uh, the thing of a director how he sucks you into his world it might work yeah yeah actually you know what that's a very interesting example that you bring up and it goes back to what we first started talking about because shakal in shan shan is considered a, a flop but yeah. actually it is a flop in comparison to shole exactly it's not it's not that it didn't make money exactly. or something like that exactly. it it worked but bachchan was at such a level really? that for for it dwarfed it yeah so we are talking about fighter in kind of similar yeah. terms right so it's yeah. not like maybe it's not that it's not making money yeah. but it's not making the 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 900000 crore kind of so a, i'll tell you what um uh, this is what anil ji told me uh, anil kapoor ji for anil kapoor sir for um, when anil kapoor sir saw a uh, fighter and uh, uh, he came and told me that bachchan had uh, had these two films come very close to each other shole and diwar yeah he said this is your diwar <laughs> this is going to get you all the respect and all the adulation and will be respected for a long time over the years i didn't understand it he says just keep this with you this is your diwar <laughs> so that's what i would i would take away take from away that. from that yeah, okay yeah, yeah. now in your films whether it's vani kapoor in war deepika in pathan deepika here the heroines irrespective of the screen time that they have they always get a good arc interesting arc like yeah. vani kapoor in the flashback she has an arc that kind of come plays in the present deepika and pathan is the rival spy love interest etc etc she kind of convolutes the plot yeah. a bit yeah. that's interesting because usually these movies are very male centric yeah. uh, in terms of yeah. only the men have things to, to do to do and take the story forward take the take the story forward was deepika's arc always this way in uh, fighter i think i, I think it, it harks back right back to salam namaste when i started making making the film also it goes with the strong women in my life right first my mother and now my wife very very strong willed uh, ladies very strong influences in my life and uh, so when i'm writing my female characters uh, they organically come out to be on par with with my my male 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 protagonists um, so salam namaste uh, ambar's character was right. very headstrong that's preeti zinta preeti zinta yeah. uh, there was uh, rani's character in tararampam mm. um, very very headstrong you know, right now it's it's hard to believe you made those films. those films. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it's a different yeah. lifetime then the girls in uh, in uh, uh, bachna hasino 
Yeah. Whether it is Bipasha Basu's character or Deepika's character herself, right. uh, who's out there to make it on her own in in Bachna Hasino, um, and the films that you just mentioned. So it's a uh, it's ingrained in me mm. to write uh, strong pivotal parts for women, strong parts, and they are not just pushovers because that's my life, my story of my life. Right. So what was Deepika's arc like in the very first draft, and how did that develop? Same. Mini, Same thing. Mini was exactly this. So you had both the the the, the her no conflict. not in the draft that Raman came with. The conflict with the parents is one thing. Conflict with the parents came about later. 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 When we wanted. We wanted uh, to build uh, this girl's character representing a majority of what the women in our country um, represent. Right. And um, an arc where uh, the patriarchal families want their uh, uh, daughters to get married as soon as they can because they consider them as responsibilities. Yeah. So, apni zimmedari nikalo unko shadi kara do achhe family mein. That is your main focus since the time the girl is born. Um, and she wanted to break that mold and uh, I had to show it. And especially uh, a, a girl in in the forces that ladkiya uh, air force mein nahi hoti. So and uh, that is a thought which just really resonated with me when I saw girls in the forces when I went for my rekis to the to the bases and I saw them marching like like anybody else. Right. And why would you discriminate? Uh, like uh, the, the dialogue says that dushman ki goli to fark nahi karti, aurat ya mard mein fark ham paida karte. Right. So these things are uh, that Asman, had to Asman be. Sab equal hote Asman mein sab equal hai, she says. So these things had to be said in my film, yeah. right. and there's no way I could have not done this. Right. Like the rest of the movie, one of the things that really works in this movie is the low key nature of the romance between Hrithik and uh, Deepika. Deepika. Did you ever have the temptation to push it a little more? Because see, one of the things that our audiences also like is full blown romance, full blown romance, like a song or something <laughs> yeah. like that. But the only song you have here is a song with the team. Yeah. The, you know, Sher Khulge. That, that's a song with, with, of course they are there, but the team is also there. Anil has an entrance to that song. It's not just them going yeah. and having fun. Like for instance, this is a very bad example, but I'm just saying you could have had them, chal aaj kuch karte hai, something, just run away to a club yeah, and yeah. just have a Hrithik Deepika song. Yeah. But you don't do that. I do. I do have. <laughs> you do have that. <laughs> so the thing is, um, I do have a song, I okay. do have a love song in the film, which uh, we uh, um, edited out of the film. You did have it, you mean? I did have it. Ah. We did shoot it. I was it. like, did and I just fall asleep or something? No, no, no. So it is, it is, um, uh, and we are putting it back into the film now. Okay. In the second week. It is there when um, they are taking off a Jammu and where uh, 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 the, the, they meet the, 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 the CRPF convoy that waves the flag and Ritik waves the flag back at them right and they turn away and that's when Ritik says that uh, uh, it's such a train le lete and she says train ye nahi kar sakte and she does, does those stunts at the end of that shot is when Ritik just realizes that how good she is and looks at her and that uh, uh, when he's looking at her and he turns and he realizes his best friend is looking at him looking at her and he feels a little guilty but Taj gives him this thing that you need to move on in life right that's when he looks at her and it goes into a, a dream song yeah. uh, and a love song where he actually saw a future. Like a costumey song or a real life-y kind of song? Not real. It, it's a full-blown full on. Full blown, okay. Bollywood song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we shot it and uh, that's when when the confrontation happens with uh, Mini, he says that I have a future to see your future. It embodies what he actually saw. He saw right. a life with her. Yeah. So that song was there but in the final edit, it didn't make it. I cut it out um, because we all felt, Hrithik and me, we felt that uh, it's somewhere we need to get to the mudda of the film faster, which is the Pulwama. Yeah, and also, it, Attack. see, the thing is, I don't know, but maybe it would have broken the mood of the film. It did. Yeah. It did. It did for us at that point in time. Yeah. So we said, okay, for now, let's remove it. because, And it's a very, very good song. Right. It's a commercial song. We said, we'll bring it back in the second week, which we're planning to bring it back now. Right. Yeah. Because the thing is, when you did a song in Ghungru Toot Gaye yeah, in, uh, in, in war. war, it wasn't a flashback. So, yeah. it, it didn't interfere with the, with the film because... But that it was part zone, of the strategy. That was, but it's part of Kabir's strategy. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Kabir's strategy... It's part of the narrative. Convert Nena to an asset. Yeah, yeah. He's converting her. Yeah. So, so that song is part of that montage. So, it's not, it's not coming back here and you're suddenly bursting into song kind yeah, of a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Similarly, in War, it's like... Uh, sorry, in Pathan, the song happens very early on. Besharam, Besharam Rang. Yeah, you know, it's like, like it happens. Again, now where he thinks he's going to convert her, yeah. but she's converting, converting him. him. So the songs actually, 
they kind of blend a little Into even the though they're they're standout items but there's a story in it there's still a story in it yeah but this i guess is, yeah. is going to be but a, then uh, coming back to your question um the scenes were deliberately kept very real yeah of course you have when you have rithik roshan deepika padukone you want to heighten the romance and use their stardom but i wanted to use them only as patty and mini and really how they would react also there is a lot of lot of uh, layers to patty what he's going through and what he's been through right. he can't be this guy who's uh, flamboyantly romancing right there's a certain angst inside him right. and mini has a lot of self respect yeah and yeah. very headstrong so she's not going to come out and show emotions so the dynamism of the characters is what is is what is the audience is enjoying yeah. seeing them seeing their romance and there is a lot of appreciation for the way they their romance is portrayed uh, with, with the audience so it's because of the complexities of the characters right and they're playing it so real there is no other way right. that they would express their love no, it's it's like a very regular like if you take away the fact that they're fighter pilots it's like a very real romance real romance because she's first intrigued by this guy correct then you know slowly it yeah. goes on like that it doesn't so she doesn't like him yeah she doesn't like his arrogance yeah she's like arrogant she and calls him you know, they're confident yeah it's like he doesn't like his arrogance and then realizes there's there's something nice about this guy yeah. he realizes there's a graph to it the first yeah. time in the it, briefing room she doesn't yeah, like him doesn't, there's an escalation but she's cutting him yeah. he's cutting yeah. her yeah then in the coffee shop scene is where he notices how he his please the way he's charmed the ladies yeah the way he is with sachi how warm he is yeah. he is with her yeah. he asks her that why didn't you join why, why did you join the air force yeah. because she says people thought i can't do it right that intrigues him about yeah. her yeah yeah so there is there are things that slowly builds the romance in a very real way and i like the fact that that scene happened in his father's house yeah because he's surrounded by all this familial warmth yeah and then you reveal that she has no family yeah exactly that's like a dichotomy like a very nice it's there or not there depending on whether you want to put it together but it's like it's yeah. just you know yeah, it's a yeah. nice yeah. feel that it happens there yeah in the and, in and the thing now one thing I, i i would have thought you would have push a little more is the fact that he has this big trauma in his past right it's yeah. like a the baggage it, it, the baggage he's carrying this huge emotional trauma very bad example again but you know this is like in a in a in a in a bad hollywood movie or something like that what would happen is this hero would be drunk somewhere and you know big lost all his will to live hmm. and then suddenly you know he'll get this uh, one last call to redeem himself mm-hmm. and then he'll go and you yeah. know that that uh, that that the great, grade <laughs> the, the you know that the, then he'll you know get over yeah. the trauma because he saved somebody yeah. else or whatever redemption but you're not doing that at all yeah. the trauma is there but he has kind of moved on a little he's smiling yeah. he's which it's not real. like he's weighed down by the which is real yeah which is very real which is what you do in real I, so life so that i want to ask you did you at any point want to say let's push this trauma a little let's give the film a little more emotion there like let him keep telling himself i should keep away from this girl you know something with deep from deepika that's boring no okay that's boring that's something you that never considered seen. it at all no the thing is that we we were very certain that you know we want to make it very real and that's why i said patty for rithik is very different he would as and you would expect that out of rithik roshan drama that he would do that push the drama to the extreme to this breaking point where he would have this over dramatic scene like that right where he's drunk and he's just trying to break a bottle and and belting his anger out and his angst out but he doesn't do that right and fortunately rithik as an actor recognizes that that this is not that film right this is what we want to do differently and that is where also the appreciation is coming our way that how we've kept it as authentic and real as possible i don't think we would have got this appreciation on fighter had we done this right. and it's delivered that that there is trauma there is baggage it's internal but it's internal, it's internal. and it's not like it's not it's he's over time he's kind of learned to deal with it deal with it and right. and how we do right. how we deal with trauma We don't become this guy who goes to a bar and drinks and says, "Oh my God, this happened to me in my life." We don't do that. We right. deal with it, and and sensible people do, I think. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. tell me about how you wrote the Anil Kapoor character because the tension between him and Rithik that drives a lot of the film. Yeah, it's like a it's like a constant simmering tension. It's not just like you're a cocky pilot or an undisciplined guy and you think you know everything and I'm your teacher. Obey me. It's not just that. There's also a personal reason. uh which we discover later yeah. how did that shaping of that character come about as a writer i like to raise questions in the minds of the audiences right. of what and why is and i want to take my time to answer it right so when you see rocky and patty and when you introduce patty you realize he's a cocky guy and he's this commanding officer and when his introduction is only is asking for permission for an inverted run and he says no way and debu says allow him 
uh, because he wants to see this pilot, uh, the splendor of this pilot, and he does that, and he's angry. And when he walks down to the briefing room, you see Rocky noticing Patty and gives him this stare, and Rocky gives this, holds the stare, and you have Dipika who notices that there is tension between them. Friction, yeah. That is shot is for raising a question in the minds of the audience that why do they have a history? So that as a director, I've raised the question in your mind that oh, they don't like each other. Is it as a director or is it as a writer? As a maker. As a maker. Okay. As a maker. I'm also a writer of the film, so. Right. You want to raise the question that through, through Deepika, in the minds of the audience. So, both the writing and the staging, you're raising that question. Because I'm a writer-director. Right. <laughs> so, right. That's, it's, I don't know where the writer ends and the director begins. Right, right. Um, and then, in the briefing room, he says that, Jo akela khelta hai, wo team ke khilaaf khelta hai. And he says that, Yahaan ego aur ahankar ki koi jaga nahi hai. Yeah. That means, you raise the question, Oh, Rocky knows Patty from before. Right. So, you re- keep raising these questions till a point of time that the audience is not thinking about it and bang you throw the answer that there is a, a history to it. Right. So I like that. Instead of raising a question and giving the answer. Right. I want you to forget the question that you had and then give you the answer and then you connect the dots. Right. That's how you enjoy it. So you wait for a point for that. Right, right, right. This is a bit of a silly question, but I, I just want, like, you know, you have all these one word title for your films, like War, Pathan, <laughs> uh, fighter. Uh, fighter. Like, what are some of the alternate titles that you had in mind? Just, cu- <laughs> just curious. Alternate titles. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think of it, I don't have a title for my next. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it Tiger versus Pathan or whatever? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah. So the thing is that it just. Um, if you take Were these all the first titles that you thought of? No. So yeah. the thing is, let's go back to Bang Bang. Bang Bang was a title I already had and I didn't know what I'm going to make of it. So when I started making the remake of that film of Night and Day, I felt Bang Bang will be a great title and it fit. Okay. Next came War. War, we had no title. We had no title for the longest time. And we were bereft of ideas. I can tell you the two titles we were contemplating <laughs> that we were going to call it, but eventually we didn't. Um, and uh, so what we did is we held a contest within YRF that whoever comes up with a title will gift them something. <laughs> so eventually uh, uh, my uh, creative director Nishit, he came up with this title of war and I like she, what, what rubbish. And somehow uh, my, uh, the, the, the design cell, uh, Vivek who's in the design cell of uh, YRF made this poster of war. And when we saw it, I said, oops, this is the title. (laughs) This is the title of the film. Um, And it just fell in place and it just was war. Hrithik vs. Tiger War, it was just too organic and it fell into place. Pathan was a title I lived with for a very, very long time. Again, it was a title that I had registered and whenever I make a film with Shah Rukh, I want to call it Pathan. That had been ingrained in me. And when we were doing that, I said, if... This is going to be this film with Shah Rukh. It has to be called Pathan and that character is going to be called Pathan. Right. So that was destined to be. Fighter. Fighter again was a title I always had. I have the knack of registering titles that I like. I have a host of them. In fact, Jawan was a title that I had, uh, I had registered. Uh, I, had, I was going to make a film called Jawan, but obviously when SRK wanted the title, you just have to give it out of love. And um, so I, I registered these titles and uh, when I wanted to make the film, uh, a film on the Air Force, I realized Fighter is the best title because they, they are called Fighters and they, they fly these jets that are called Fighters. So there was no other name for it? There couldn't be. Okay. There couldn't be. And fortunately, we had a title called, title called, fight, called Fighter. Yeah. No, because I'm also thinking of some, you know, some older films, not very old, but Ab tumhare vatan hai saathi ho. Ab tumhare havale vatan, vatan hai saathi ho. You know like, you know. I love those titles. Yeah, so it's I like, love it, yeah. paap ko jala kar raak raak kar dunga. dunga. You know like. I don't like that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are these. Yeah, but there was a time for all that, yeah. 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 But, you, we um, can't do that now, right? I'm not so creative. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I wish I was. Yeah. But never say never, yeah. I might come up with something which is, which is like that. I mean, like, Hum Aapke Hain Kaun, you, you felt, what is this title, Hum Aapke Hain Kaun? But then you realize that now it's part of your DNA. No, but I think these things are all, you know, somebody's conviction. And then when it works, you say, wow, you know, that worked. And then if it doesn't, you just say whatever. Like that... Salam Namaste, for example, I wrote a very, very cool film, very urban film. Right. And Salam Namaste, all my friends are like, what is this Salam Namaste? And what is this film you're making? So I said, you know, when you see the film, it will make the title cool. 
<laughs> so now you view Salam Namaste with a very cool lens. Right. So it's the film eventually that gives you the like in retrospect it yeah, seems yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. But eventually just becomes part of the DNA of the film. Right, yeah. right, right. You know this is a a kind of a question I've had for a long time. It's when the promos for Fighter started coming out, the first thing that happened on Twitter uh, and other social media was like, oh my God, it's a Top Gun knockoff or whatever it is, a rip off kind of a thing. Yeah. You know? So it's like. And this I've seen several times. It's it's almost like I'm not talking about fighter alone, but generally when we make certain films, there's a tendency to undervalue them because there's no benefit of doubt. Somebody might have actually made a decent film. There's always yeah. like, yeah. oh, this is a copy. This is a ripoff. Is it because in India we have had a tradition of actually doing these unauthorized yeah. ripoffs, yeah. and that that's kind of that's the image that stays with us? Is it yeah. because of that, or is it just that we don't respect our filmmakers at all? It's 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 hybrid. I feel it's a combination of both. I think yes, um, we have had instances of of taking inspirations blatantly from other films. So anything that, that you do, yeah. anything that you do now is like it's a cheap copy and it's a copy of it. So we have actually, as an audience, lost respect for our films and our filmmakers, which I feel is 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 very sad. So because Fighter is about fighter jets, the instant analogy was that it's Top Gun, and uh, I think eventually when you saw the trailer. I mean, you realize that there is nothing. It's nothing to do with Top Gun. But the, your only reference point is Top Gun. So you will say, "Oh, they have copied Top Gun," and actually, this is all. It's all. It's all the social media chatter, which is which is really out there to only um, put your work down. And negativity gets a lot of traction. Right. So you want to do that so that you know uh, people uh, like your comments, people uh, repost your comments, people comment on it, and creates chatter. But if you say something good, it never gets traction. It never gets any sort of uh, uh, comments or uh, negativity gets you kind of uh, attention. So it it's the easiest thing is to put somebody else's work down. Uh, Fighter is a film that has eleven and a half thousand people credited in the end, in the in the end scroll. It's a lot of people who worked on it. It's the maximum any 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 film has had in terms of its crew and who've really worked hard. So just to put it down. Without seeing the product, yes, it's heartbreaking and it's annoying. <laughs> but um, I think after you see the film, I think there's no discussion of Top Gun. You realize that that it's a very desi film. It's a Hindi film. But we don't give cha- give a chance uh, as an audience. It's a hybrid that people have done it in the past, and and the fact that we just don't respect our films, right? Uh, which we should start now. Right, right. What are the you said eleven thousand five hundred whatever people uh, people. What was the toughest aspect of the film? I mean, I'm assuming it was the visual effects. Uh, it's visual effects, and and everyone in the air force who's worked on the film in terms of the permission that we got to shoot on real air bases, uh, that we shot on an actual a live air base where you have Sukhois and Dhruv Airlines doing sorties every day and training every day. Uh, then we went to uh, training with the actors. No, training themselves. Uh, a live air base is a place where uh, the, the 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 they're constantly training. Okay, they're constantly doing sorties and doing missions. Uh, you know, hybrid missions in the sense, very uh, 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 whatever missions to to keep themselves prepared and trained right, right. for anything, right. for any engagement. Um, so we were part of that, where their actual fl- uh, pilots doing their their training, um, and then we shot at uh, the Hyderabad uh, uh, Academy, where you actually become a pilot. <laughs> Where you train to become a pilot. It's the only academy in India for the Air Force. Right. We've gone in there and shot there for two weeks uh, with 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 Ritik, with my actors. So we had a whole lot of crew, and then obviously then the VFX team, which is uh, which is huge because we couldn't have completed this film without it, without the uh, uh, you know CGI and VFX coming in, blending in with real aircraft. Mm-hmm. So you don't know where the real aircraft and then the CGI takes over. Or the CGI starts in the real aircraft tech, so so that is the brilliance of it. So of tech, of tech. So so from the time you f- wrap shooting to the post production with the VFX, how much time did that take? So the thing is that uh, it's not the VFX didn't start at the end of shoot. Uh, you were parallel. The VFX no, the VFX started when we started writing. Oh, it's been three years of uh, of engagement with with uh, the VFX company. Because you have to first build the assets of the planes, of the choppers, uh, even build assets of those uh, CRPF buses, or the jeep that Ritik fights uh, Azhar Akhtar in. In the end, 
So these are all assets of uh, VFX assets that you build. Then you uh, storyboard them, what story you want to build, what, what the planes should do, so that you have a storyboard that you present to the pilots that I want your plane to do this and I'll capture it from here. And what can't be done, then we bring in the VFX team. So once that is okayed, we create a previs of it, yeah. which is an animation of it. And yeah. then you have iterations of the previs. No, I don't like the shot. No, I don't like the speed of the plane. No, I don't, don't like the camera of it. I want the camera to actually go past it. No, I want the camera to uh, uh, lead the plane. I want the camera to push the plane. Right. I want a top angle shot actually, or I want a low angle shot. So those are iterations of, uh, of previs. That goes into post -vis. that goes into animation, then comping. It's a whole process and that takes a long time. You know, this is just a question as a director. You know, normally when, you know, you finish writing a film and by the time you finish shooting a film, that itself is pretty exhausting, right? And a lot of directors have told me that it's one of the most difficult things is to remain as invested in the film till the end. Really? Uh, as you, you're excited when you're writing it, when yeah. you start the idea and then when you finish the script, but then after, as the shoot goes on and on and on and on, you're just consumed by the logistics of it Correct. or the daily logistics of it that the okay. overall picture kind of gets becomes lost. A, gets lost and you just start looking at pixels yeah. or you know like yeah. like the minute things and you just you're dealing with another level which is like not just the shooting. writing and the shooting but also like this Post parallel thing VFX. like was it it's challenging uh, Bhardwaj. it's challenging and it's a uh, um, the thing is that because vfx is something which is not in your control right you're not in control of it so that, at that point in time, as a maker, you feel helpless. Then why can't you do this? Or why can't you do this sooner? That is something that you need uh, in terms of making bigger spectacle films, you have to adapt. Right. And that is something that we as filmmakers in this country haven't really explored much. Right. We are at, uh, uh, we are, we are in a very nascent stage of this uh, genre here. So um, not many filmmakers have indulged in it yet. Right. I've been lucky to have, have done that. I got a foot in the door with War. Right. Uh, obviously, with Pathan, there was enough of it because we shot that in the pandemic. So we had to rely a lot on VFX. Fighter, of course, now has just smashed that door. Right. In, I'm right in there now. Right. So it's shown me possibilities of what all we can do and what all we've denied ourselves of in terms of tech uh, to give the audience right. that kind of uh, spectacle films that they are used to abroad. So this is something that. It's an adaptation. Right. And also don't forget that what excited you about this film. Yeah. Why you went on to this long journey, uh, tedious, arduous journey. You have to always go back to that day, what excited you constantly. Uh, you have to remind yourself, oh yeah, yeah, that is my, that is where I want to go. I can't lose sight of that. So that is something that you need to, as a filmmaker, constantly remind yourself and get over the daily logistical issues. Right. Those are just stepping stones to eventually reach that goal that you have set yourself up for. Oh, that's the film I want to make. Right. So you need to have sight of that. That's interesting because a first time filmmaker once told me that that every time he gets a good idea, he writes it down in a diary with the date. So that when he starts questioning himself later, why? Why? Oh God, is this working or not? Yeah, go he goes that. back to that day. Okay, this really worked for me then. Exactly. So you know, exactly. this kind of... Uh, you can't. It's like making a, a song. Like you like get excited with a melody and then after some time, point and you get bored of it because you've lived with it for so, so long. long and you've heard it so many times. So it's... you have to go back to that feeling, that instinct. When I first heard this melody, I liked it. That is why you chose it. Right, right. Yeah. You know, speaking of song, one thing that I really appreciated in this film was the fact that you gave some time after the film ended and then started that that yeah. beat song because yeah. you know in a lot of films you just like you suddenly there's a it's like a whiplash you suddenly move from one mood one to another to the other. Yeah. yeah here there was like some genuine like like okay now the movie's over yeah. i'll give it some yeah. rest and then you go to the beat that, song so that is again a collaboration with rithik that when we saw the film it is exactly how you saying it was it was uh, mini and patty come they embrace they kiss they freeze frame and it goes into is jaisa kuch when we saw the film, we realized we, that we need to stay with the emotion of them as pilots first. Right. And then go into their love story. So that is why then we shifted the song a little ahead, brought in the Vande Matram track for the end scroll, did the mukhra of that, went into black and then started Isha Sakuj. Right. So that is the first instinct, yes, is to do that. But when you see the film, you realize, no, we need to stay with the emotion. That's what uh, uh, is editing. Right, right, right. <laughs> Joy of edit editing. My last question, is there one part of you 
that's kind of upset about not doing war too does it say oh my god it's <laughs> it's my baby how you know now somebody else is doing that is that i feel i feel a sense of pride i feel feel a sense of pride that uh, my creation is uh, so important to somebody else it's only pride i feel that um, it's like a baby your, your son flourishing in somebody else's company it's like my son not working in marflix but is heading some other company yeah i feel joy in that so it's that kind of pride that i've created something that is worthy enough for someone else to take over but you never wanted to do what to why wouldn't i it's just that uh, i would love to uh, would have loved to um, and obviously we discussed it internally but the timing was such that i was actually finishing uh, fighter mm-hmm. and that went on the floors so it was an overlap and there's nothing adi and me share by touch wood by god's grace a beautiful relationship adi and me are uh, i would look at it like a father and son relationship uh, although he's not so old but i i revere him and i look at him as a father figure and um, yrf's doors are always god willing open to me and i am always open to yrf both both ways right we are always in dialogue for something so now i've created pathan also so tomorrow if somebody else makes pathan too there's no bad blood or anything um, yeah. these are my creations i'm just proud as a father to to war that somebody else is taking over so what are you making next ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's question. have it let's have an official <laughs> an official confirmation i i i'm currently actually i'm unemployed bhatwaj i'm un, uh, unemployed so after many years so the whole thing years. about you doing tiger versus pathan and this and that it's i mean all uh, these rumors flying around it's 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 obviously there there is it's not it's not rumor we're obviously talking and uh, we've not taken certain decisions on when what and everything else but it's still being scripted so right now as of now currently i'm unemployed you're not I'm, unemployed you're writing something uh, yeah i'm i'm working as a producer i have a few films as a producer that i'm working on but as a director i've completely and i'm happy being unemployed because i just want to take a break i've not taken a break between war patan and fighter they've just happened right, back they just back. happened quite back you know, to back, back to back yeah and yeah, i've yeah. not had a break uh, i want to just uh, take off uh, declutter my mind and i want to i want to do something obviously that again it just pushes yeah pushes um, myself my team and i will keep giving the audience something something new i'm going to challenge the audience constantly challenge the audience i'm not going to give them something they expecting but but one thing is sure that you are going to be in the action zone now yeah, yeah i'm i'm going to make you're not in going it. back to the 1.0 i'm going to keep pushing that that action zone till that envelope is torn <laughs> right no more salam namaste for not for a while as a director not for a while not for a while i am right. uh, i'm in that space where the, i want to the reason i ask you is also because it doesn't seem to be that zone is doesn't seem to be doing doing too well right now also yeah i yeah, think I, because, i don't know people i mean i it of course one year is too soon to say but the big hits all seem to be in a non romantic yeah. more in an actiony i think the thing is that we are also in terms of in terms of people we have the definition of love is constantly evolving yeah so to make a love story you really need to be ahead of the generation to know what they'll want and feel a year later so we are not in sync with that <laughs> and and uh, um, so they they don't take love as seriously as we used to so the conflict of love and the success of a love story comes only from the conflict you know and that keeps changing at the risk of yeah i just need to tell you this last thing because you know one of my favorite scenes love scenes in in uh, is the one from maine pyar kiya of course where uh, uh salman uh, you know comes and works and then he hands over the money the money to stone to to which is and then it, it because it's it's he's had this fight and all that and it's raining and all that the money is stone and then that in rupiyon ka mol that dialogue yeah. comes about right when she says when she says you know yeah. she tells her father that if yeah. these notes have no, no value, value then nothing, then has nothing value. else has yeah, value i was like wow I you know just, now. Yeah, genius just, of suraj barjatia man yeah, so, like that i'm like genius, you know we used, to, we used to create these these big drama. epic romantic dramas yeah. but i don't think anybody wants to watch Because them at right? that time uh, bardwaj uh, the the parental conflict loomed yeah you wanted parental approval, approval yeah today you don't yeah today you have kids who don't even inform you yeah. <laughs> what they are up to yeah. you have to find out from social media what they are doing yeah so where now where they don't look for parental i i don't know i mean largely in in the yeah, in, yeah. in the the modern youth yeah they don't look for that But which is why i think we haven't had a definitive love story of this generation no. right can you think of anything i i i'm like 
a definitive love story of this generation last definitive love story of this generation kaho na pyar hai wow that last no i don't know yeah yeah definitive love story kaho na pyar hai i don't know yeah which is also not a love story yeah yeah this is like a you know because at one time you know qs cutie used to like it defined love for a generation qs cutie yeah. maine pyar kiya yeah. dil dil yeah. um uh, hum aapke hain kaun uh, dil wale dulhaniya kuch kuch hota hai yeah, dil just, to pagal hai yeah this is like definite raja hindustani yeah definitive love stories yeah um how what yeah, yeah what is just, a love story yeah it's a good question to end the interview with yeah audience tell us yes yes <laughs> thank you so much sadar it's always a My pleasure my pleasure yeah. was always yeah. thank you thank you GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Experience the next level of imaging with Vivo X100 series. Pre-book now.